All right, so in this video, we'll be looking at these two problems over here, 29 and 30. Now, I like these problems. It says, in, in exercises 29 and 30, we're looking at error analysis, by the way, describe and correct the error in solving the inequality. So we have to describe what the person, whoever whoever did this, the error that the person is making, and, um, and, then, and then we have to correct it. So I like these problems here. So let's see, 29. So it's x, x over 4 plus 6 to over, is greater than or equal to 3. So this person is, what, what this person is doing is it seems like the person multiplied 4 to both sides. Um, however, when you multiply 4 to both sides of the equation, you can't just multiply 4 um, and then cancel the 4. So I, I know what the person did. They, they just multiplied 4 here only to this term and then they multiply 4 to this term. Now, whatever you do to one side of the equation, you got to do to the other side. And this is not what I mean when I say that. I mean that you have to do whatever you do to one side of the equation, the entire equation you have to do to the entire other equation. This is only something that he's doing, he or she is doing to one part of the equation, one part of, of the side of this, of this side of the equation. You can't do that. You have to do it to the whole thing. So if you wanted to multiply 4, that's, that's okay, but you have to multiply to 4 to the whole side, okay? This would have been legal. Anyway, that's basically the error, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, that's basically the error. There's no errors in this in these two steps here, in this one step, I guess. So we can fix it. We we just saw the error the person made. It's not it's a it's a very it's a very elementary error, but it's fine. Let's see. Let me... All right. So x divided by 4 plus 6 is greater than or equal to 3. So yeah, we, we can actually, let's just do what this person did, except let's multiply 4 to not just this term, because that wouldn't be legal. Uh, we can't just multiply it to one side and balance this these two sides. We have to multiply, we have to multiply 4 to both sides of the entire, uh, uh, both, both entire sides uh, of this, um, not equation, I think I've been saying equation, but this inequality. So here when we multiply, it's going to be 4s are going to clearly cancel out. But then here is 4x, whoops, not 4x, the 4s cancel out. So 4x, 4x, x, not 4x, x, plus, plus, it's 4 times 6, which is 24. 24, okay. This is confusing when I cancel it because it looks kind of weird. You had to multiply with a 6. It doesn't go away. So x and then 24 is greater than or equal to 12. We can now subtract 24 to both sides of this equation here. x is greater than or equal to negative, negative 12 here, negative 12. And that's your answer. There's nothing uh, fishy or, or confusing about this problem. Um, there was no dividing by a negative to flip the sign or anything like that. It was just multiplying by a positive number. If we were, if we were to multiply, if this was like negative x over 4 plus 6 or something like that is greater than or equal to 3, we we could we could multiply by negative four, but then we'd have to we'd have to switch, right? We'd have to switch, we'd have to change this to less than or equal to, and and so on and so forth. But this is this is we don't have to worry about that here. It's a straightforward question. Okay, let's go to let's go to number thirty here. Let me do this in red. Let me do this in red. All right, number thirty. So let's see what this person's doing. Negative two times one minus x is greater than or equal to two x minus seven. Seems like the person distributed. So did they distribute correctly? Negative two plus two x. Yep, that's good. Negative, negative, positive. Less than or equal to two x minus seven. Seems like they they subtracted two x to both sides and they got negative ten. Negative two is less than or equal to negative seven. I think this, so. This all of this is correct. This is all correct. This is all good. Uh, I know I'm doing it in red, but this is correct. Okay, this is correct. Um, but the problem says it's wrong, so there has to be something wrong about this part. All real numbers are solutions. If negative 2, is negative 2 less than negative 7? It might seem since like 2 is two and seven, two is less than 7, but negative 2 is actually not less than or equal to negative 7. If we look at it on the number line, on the messy number line here, we have 0, we have, say, negative, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. I'm going to run out of space. Negative 4. Negative five, negative six, and negative seven. Uh, negative seven. So the the more left we go, the smaller it gets, right? Smaller, smaller it gets. 
So negative 7 is, and, and of course the right we go, the more right we go, the greater it gets. So 7 is, negative 7 is more, more left than negative 2, so it's, it's here and this is here, so it's smaller. So it's not, it's not uh, greater than, it's smaller than. So all real numbers are not solutions, it's in fact, whoops, it's in fact, it's in fact, in fact, let me see here. So everything's correct, right? The steps are all are all doing good, but the solution is that there are no solutions. There are no solutions, no solutions, since the statement is false. Since the statement statement is false. And we are done.